SMT Nation, welcome back to the channel. It looks like the Verizon upgrade is upon us and it is complete. I'm going to be showing you some photos today and describing what they did in this upgrade as the SMT HQ has now received full upgrades for the serving cells from every carrier. T-Mobile is done. That is live and optimized. AT&T has been in progress. It is now complete. We're waiting on that to be uh, turned on and tuned. And now Verizon is complete, finishing at about the same time as the AT&T build. But they did so in about half the time, and I'm going to describe why, uh, what took place, and what exactly was done. I'm excited for all this. this is, it's a great time for the SMTHQ, let me tell you. Uh, generally speaking, in terms of this upgrade, uh, this is actually a picture from the day it was done. Uh, I think the tower crew was done as of this morning. I didn't see them when I got back home from work. So I I'm going to say that they're done. Uh, unless they were on lunch or something. I'll, I'll look again, but I think they are done based on the scope and sequence of the work. All right, so that's the final image of it. All right, you will see that there's a lot of uh, trees, there, and this is a very wooded area. Obviously, um, that could be an issue for RF in some instances. In my case, it's not. The tower site is very tall. Uh, it is over 100 feet tall. Uh, I'd say probably uh, maybe 125, 150 feet. It's, it's very tall. And it's great, you know, but they do have tower sites. The neighboring cells are both within a mile in, in range. So you got three sites and basically three miles. All right. So the work is done. That's kind of the area. It's very residential. Uh, there's a few, you know, a handful of businesses being served, but not much. Uh, this is a picture from like two days ago. I think this may have been day two of the upgrades before the weekend. And, you know, you can clearly see that the technician is up there. They're the ongoing modernization. I think a uh, couple pieces of hardware were removed in terms of the CDMA antennas. And um, and then they added the N77, which is right here, uh, circled here in red. Uh, the other stuff was all left unchanged. They did have to, you know, do a little bit of plumbing and stuff like that in terms of, you know, cables and wires and fiber and such. Uh, but that's done. All right. So here is the finished product. All right. This is it. This is the site. So here was the progress. And then here is the finished all right, looking at the picture here of the progress, uh, this is from, I think, Saturday afternoon. The time of this recording, I'm recording this on Monday afternoon. All right, this is the N77 uh, integrated antenna and radio, all one piece, all right, and 3.7 gigahertz. This is going to be a 60 megahertz channel of N77. This is 100% designed for capacity. And the other stuff remained pretty much unchanged. Technician is up there. He's got his tools and he's working. And uh, you can see some of the cables are kind of still dangling. It's a, it's a work in progress. Here is the same sector in its finished product. You will see that things have been tucked away. Uh, there is no technician up there. Everything looks pretty much finalized. The only thing I have to confirm, I'm going to go back at night. I'm going to look up here for these indicators to see if the green light is solid. I think I've noticed that before, and that's what some engineers have told me is go look to see if it's blinking or if it's red. Uh, that means it is not connected and broadcasting. But if everything is connected well and it's powered on, you will see green. So I'll be back just to double check in case the crew may need to come back. Uh, but usually they don't leave until all that is sorted out and it's been you know connected and engineering from Verizon has cleared it. Uh, here is a progress shot from Friday as well from uh, the other sector. This is actually the sector that faces my home, and you will see that the cables are out. Things are not fully connected. There's a lot of stuff missing here that should be, uh, and there's a technician working. All right, now here's the final project uh, product. You'll see the cables have been tucked away. You'll see everything is connected, and again, I'll just go back and double check and look for those indicators to see that the power is on and all is well, and then I expect them to be able to turn this on pretty soon. They... Uh, this upgrade was unique in that it didn't receive major, quote unquote, major upgrades. Most of it was already modernized a few years ago, two or three years ago. It's actually a great site. I never had problems or troubles with the site ever. It doesn't go down. It's got backup power. It's got a, a shelter. Uh, you know, I don't have trouble with it. So basically all they really did was for the sake of weight, they removed. Well, they had already removed the radios for the 3G CDMA. Uh, so now they had to remove the antennas. And they left all this other modernized stuff here, radios and antennas, that has band 2, band 66, uh, band 13, band 5. They left all that unchanged, 
And they didn't add CBRS, they didn't add band 48, no millimeter wave, but they did add the N77 C band. So that's an additional 60 megahertz of capacity coming to the SMT HQ. I can't wait to test it. Super excited about this. AT&T is done with their C band upgrade. T-Mobile is done with their N41 upgrade. And then Verizon here ongoing. I can't wait to test each one individually and then test them all at the same time for you guys to see who is king of the SMT HQ. By the way, any predictions on the speeds we're going to be seeing? I'm under a mile from my site here. For all three carriers, they're all serving me under a mile away. All right, so you tell me who you think is going to be the fastest, who's going to be the best, the most reliable, and which one do you think is going to offer the best quality connection? Hey, (laughs) it's good to be me, I guess, when it comes to wireless. And hey, I'm not bragging or anything like that. I hope that a lot of this stuff comes to you guys. I see congestion as a concern for many people out there. Just know that the tower crews are putting in the work. The engineers are tuning and optimizing and really building nice networks. It just takes time. The money has to be spent. It's all budgeted. CapEx and different you know, parts of the country and regions get you know upgrades at different rates. So I wish you all the best. I hope these upgrades come to you. Comment down below on my commentary and all the things that I discussed in today's video. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Twitter handle as well as my Patreon page. Support us there and get early access to content and exclusive videos not found anywhere else. Also, uh, business inquiries can be sent to the Gmail address in the description box. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next video. Peace.